let's continue system designs so today uh, i am going to just discuss one very little concepts uh, uh, while uh, talking in the system designs terms uh, many many times we can use the latency so this is the terminology uh, while talking to the customer hey our uh, latency should be high latency should be low what do you mean by latency so generally whenever you are designing distributed systems and distributed system always we talk this latency if you uh, your applications is geographical uh, 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 available in the across the worlds so the data center where you are storing data okay so these data centers if the particular different locations are going to read this is a very high latency kind of problem or uh, if some different remote uh, region they are accessing this data this is so what to reduce this latency what we do hey nearest data center we design here this is nearest distributed data we can distribute it so what the same data same duplicate data available here so if this region can access data from the nearest location this access from the nearest location so objective of the distributed system design is to make a, our application is more performant highly performance application so in this scenario our objective is that our system must be designed such a way where we can reduce the latency latency means uh, our uh, server backend are going to access data as nearest our location don't go further further because whenever data travel over the networks and networks is so lengthy so heavy it will uh, take a times so objective is that whenever you design systems from which locations user are accessing your web application that would be as nearest as his locations data center available web server application your cdn server available so that applications are quickly responsive you are designing a system this is the only centralized application centralized everything and across the globe all the requests come on your so here our system latency is very very bottleneck for us so let's say uh, this is the basic terminology uh, sometimes uh, whenever we are uh, designing our system we talk to the customer this word latency we talk to the, our developer hey here we have to maintain our latency high or low so let's be we should clear the terms what do you mean by latency latency refer to what latency refer to the just times it which time it take for a system to respond for a request or event any event happen any request happen how much time your system take to respond so you can say response times are look like a r event times are general term standard uh, system designing terms known as a latency so in other words you can say it is the time differences between the moment the request is sent and the moment response is received okay this is the your uh, globe uh, this is your system one users are request you to get my profile so the moment they start sending a request from here how much times travel and again response back how much times it will take complete response time from initiating the request and till uh, uh, processing here some processing time maybe remote uh, service calling something something complete times from the moment the user send request and the moment they receive the response that's complete times known as your uh, latency so here in the latency uh, the most uh, common parameter is the performance so if some application you are going to decide the performance matrix in the distributed system where the latency is directly affect the user experience so we have to make the such a performance matrix on the basis of latency because this is a 
directly affect our customer, our user experience. High latency lead to the slow application performance, time out, even crash due to the longer networks. Our data travel from the longer on the networks. So our objective is that our user experience should be smooth. That means our system is quickly to quickly response without timeout, without even a crash. So while designing system, we have to talk your latency as well as what latency acceptable for your applications, for your customer, for your users. Okay. So, in the latency, uh, generally uh, measures in the form of user perspective as uh, millisecond, nanosecond or microsecond. So, these are the standards. Generally, we talk about the millisecond as a human being understand. But if you talk application level communication at that time, so nanosecond. But these are uh, three, three basic uh, kind of uh, times where we talk end to end latency. That means key from the moment user re start request and the moment they receive the request. So here uh, time it's take for the request to travel from the client machine to the server and back server to the client. So here might be this is a client machine in the a geographical location. Okay, from his mobile from laptop. Uh, your server is the big uh, geographical locations. So here they send request. So how much times go to the server first and what the processing time it will take and then again what times again return back to the here okay so this complete times so it is known as a end to end latency sometime round trip latency the time take for the request to travel to the server client and the server and back to the client including additional processing time so this is a round trip round trips conclude this request response plus additional processing time as well as so end to end times and the round trip round trip means request time response times plus processing time as well as sometimes someone uh, so why these kind of uh, times we calculate so that we should know how to reduce the latency latency can reduce if this location from this server if can move to the here nearest so our time to reach the server and response to server i can reduce and might be our business processing cannot be reduced maybe this is a very business critical application still i can reduce my overall latency so round trip can be reduced if you shift your data server your applications your student server as close as your the customer as close in the customer networks how long your systems how far how distance same your latency going to increase sometime you talk one way latency means just time uh, take a request uh, travel from the client to the server so this is the your one way request however sometime many many applications required just not the responding just initiate the request just start the sum some order something so many many times just you want to ensure one way what the latency yeah round trip or so why this we are calculating if we are maintaining such matrix okay that help us to decide how I can improve my performance? Where the problem? Problem with the so farther, farther our uh, server and client, our request, our business processing larger times, our complete round trip is a larger times. So we, if we keep these the performance matrix and parameters, and then we visualize, hey, our systems, our uh, server receive requests from the different geographical locations and that is very high number of our user base so why i cannot distribute our system with that nearest location because the number of high requests come from the maybe indian come from the chinese country come from the different locations 
सो लिटेंसी हेल्प अस टू डिसाइड हाउ आवर सर्वर गो टू द नियरेस्ट टू नियरेस्ट आवर कस्टमर बेस आवर यूजर बेस and uh, if you talk some example let's say uh, simple web applications that receive request from the database and latency of this application can be broken due to the several component so might be hey here your uh, uh, applications here your uh, database server and here your clients client from one request to request go to the server and again go to the responder but your application required some server data again they call to the remote database and database is very further away so again call so what happened here multiple level of latency you can you going to introduce right so possible maybe here our uh, send request go here are uh, due to the networks problem our networks can be broken our network latency we have to decide time take the request travel from the server to the client who oh, network latency similarly server latency the time it server to the process request how much times it will take a process and even the database latency here database itself might be the file system and some locking the how much time it will takes so database itself takes some time to read the file because finally large amount of data database system read in the file from io system so what the io level of latency our database software how much time to take to read the data they are reading data from file systems or cache something similarly what the networks from server to database how the network latency similarly again from how much server again going to business processing logic and then from the customer point of view how customer latency would be so many many times you notice uh, one request can hope can go to the multiple multiple server multiple multiple networks we have to visualize we have to think uh, uh, our uh, system each and every places you can reduce your latency so generally latency uh, is a very critical parameter performance parameter uh, for applications like if you are using a real time applications or any web applications or any cloud now this cloud computing these are applications are uh, huge this uh, latency matrix performance matrix as a parameter so for real time application system required fast and predictable response such as a financial data healthcare data or gaming web applications required fast page loading response user, res, uh, user responsive our user interface all the cloud computing system cloud based system that's require the very low latency and the high performance systems so these uh, you can say uh, the use case scenario or like any real time applications any uh, web application or if you are in the cloud uh, computing cloud services please ensure that our applications as low latency as help us to improve the our application performance if you talk about the clouds lots of vendor already provide you the such a high latency or you can say low latency application if you talk the google cloud platform it's offer the variety of uh, uh, tools and services that reduce your latency okay cloud maybe you can use the google cloud data store or google cloud store or even the google cloud cdn even amazon web services also offer the variety of tools and services that re reduce our latency uh, like uh, amazon cloud front amazon route 53 aws lambda these help us to reduce the your application latency if you are using the microsoft yeah microsoft also offer lots of range of services and tools to reduce latency in the cloud based application like they uh, offer the amazon cdn uh, amazon cdn or load balancer or amazon store similarly talk about the ibm clouds uh, also offer uh, some uh, uh, tools or services that reduce the latency maybe ibm cloud cdn ibm cloud load balancer ibm cloud storage similarly talk the akamai also this is the cloud based cdn that is specializing in the reducing latency and improving performance of your web application 
so somehow lots of third party application also available that reduce your latency of an application so objective of this latency concept is you have to think how we can reduce if you are using the cloud services let's talk them and if you look the uh, lots of applications already implemented this they have measuring they have know how the latency we can reduce so if you talk about the netflix netflix use the uh, combinations of cloud based services they are using the aws as well as they are using the azure as well as uh, to reduce the latency and improve the application performance for online streaming services similarly if you talk to the facebook facebook also is the combination of cloud based services they are using the aws and google cloud to reduce the latency and improve the performance for its or the social media networks even if you talk to the twitter twitter also is the combination of cloud based services they use the aws they use the googles to reduce the latency and improve the improve the application performance for the, all the social media network inside if you talk about the ebay ebay also using the aws using the azure for reducing latency and improving the performance of your online auction platform if you talk the apple apple also is the combinations of aws services cloud services uh, uh, google services to reduce uh, his the performance for the online services for icloud or apple music so you can say all the big player or big applications they have aim to reduce the latency uh, for reducing latency they mostly applications are using lots of technique some cloud enabled services some third party services the objective is that you have to reduce latency means increase the application performance increase the user experience as user get quick response user get the good satisfaction so best practices uh, to reduce our uh, lat latency prefer to use the cdn cdn is help us because cdn is a networks that offer your all the static contents or the data in the your customer user nearest locations okay so here cdn can help to reduce the latency by caching content at the edge location closer to the user closer to the users even you can optimize for the latency means improving performance you can think what kind of database query you can do optimize something some query problem some written problem some indexing required some kind of explaining requires you have to think even you can use the load balancing to improve the our application performance to to reduce the latency to distribute the traffic to the across the multiple server minimizing load on each and every server even you can use the caching techniques or caching is one of the key uh, uh, technique that reduce your latency by just storing frequent access data in the memory reducing the data retrieved from the database or file system or some dif different storage system so you can use the caching mechanism and good option you can monitor monitor and optimize the performance key pri um, performance so lots of tools caching cdn querying load balancing monitoring tools monitor your application at which layer your applications are taking because the, as a one user send a request they go to the your server and server talk to the one uh, up different uh, router or your uh, load balancer route the load to the services services go talk to the database okay so database may be read some lots of file system and get data so you have to visualize the latency here we can in re reduce latency here we can reduce latency here we can reduce latency here we can reduce latency here you can reduce latency the database level latency file system level so each and every layer where your application control goes flow from the from user to store data till different network level application level cache level load balancing level api gateway level you have to monitor you have to look you have to visualize and then you can decide here we can apply some latency reduce techniques
latency reduced services maybe cloud maybe caching maybe lots of things available you have to just first identify which portion of my applications is the very very high latency so as a system design engineer our objective not just design system we have to ensure that we have to reduce a latency of my applications hope this information helpful for you